Hello, today I'm in the 1500 block of North Tallman, that's Tallman and North Avenue, in a very large two bedroom, two bathroom apartment. I'm on North Avenue a couple of blocks uh, east of Humble Park the Park, so I'm between California and Western Avenue. See it's got higher ceilings in here, probably nine foot ceilings, you can see above the cabinets, those are 42 inch cabinets, normally those cabinets would touch the ceiling. You can see you've got some extra space here. Looking down North Avenue, just a, just a couple of uh, blocks from the Blue Line L stop. There you can see downtown views of the city. If you're wanting to do an in-home office or dining room table, I think that far wall over there would accommodate both. And you could probably even put your in-home office over here. A lot of people are doing that these days. Has a balcony. It's covered also. It has electricity and lights on it. It's a great feature. The building also has a really nice, amaz amazing roof deck. Uh, look for the other video on that. There's a fire pit up there. There's chairs. There's a couple of common grills also. So stone countertops, as I mentioned before, big 42-inch cabinets. Really nice open floor plan. Great stone backsplash over the stove microwave. Here there's a dishwasher. Nice island. The island also has electricity on it. I mentioned that because if you've ever had an island that doesn't have electricity, um, you know what I mean. It's great to have a place to plug hot plates in and stuff like that. So here is the common bathroom. See the nice ceramic all the way around. A right, real nice big tub. It's a tub and shower combination. Real big deep tub. Big mirror. Here is the second bedroom. This bedroom will easily hold a queen size bed, no problem. And again, you've got the higher ceilings. You've got floor to, uh, floor to ceiling windows here. Got a really nice big organized closet. You can adjust these closets if you need more hanging space or less or however you want to do it, you can. A nice modern flooring here. This door is the hot water heater and the uh, furnace. Behind this door is the in-unit washer and dryer. It's bigger than usual. Nice big stackable washer and dryer. Then the door here to my left is the front door. We just kind of started from the living room and worked our way backwards. Nice big entry closet here. It's also organized, so you can get a lot of stuff in it. And this is walking into the primary bedroom. It's a really big walk-in closet. Again, it's the organized closet system. You'd be able to put your stuff how you wanted it. Right to the right here is the uh, linen closet for the bathroom. Again, this is a primary bathroom or primary bedroom, so it's going to have an in-unit bathroom. Nice big shower over there, stone countertops, double vanity sinks. You've got enough room over here if you want to do uh, a dirty clothes hamper or something like that. You've got a lot of space in there. Then this room would easily hold a king size bed. Again, you've got the floor to ceiling windows. These face north, so it's going to get a lot of light but without a lot of direct heat from it. As in with the rest of the unit, you've got track lighting. Again, the higher ceilings make this room even bigger. You could easily put a king size bed on either one of those far walls if you wanted. So walking back out, this is the front door here in front of me. So we're walking as if we just came in the front door. There's the bathroom on your right. And then just a really big, nice open floor plan.